I thought the performance was, um, yeah, it was good. I thought the first half we we were being, we wanted to be aggressive. We wanted to play with energy. We wanted to be offensive in the game and entertain the crowd. We knew we were going to get a good crowd, and we knew we knew the situation was out of our control. But what was in our control was the the way that we played. Right. And the only disappointment I had is I thought we were a little bit passive without the ball at times. Um, but we were getting into good areas, creating moments, and I just thought we needed that, you know, that last bit in the, of the game, that last finishing moment, that last creating moment. Um, and Julian was involved in a lot. You look at um, what he brings, he's a really exciting individual. And those guys are the difference in games. You see today is the difference. They have moments, his dribbling ability, his ability to create moments. He probably should have scored in the first half. Um, but I think for us it's about now trying to develop him, trying to improve him, trying to polish him up so that he can become a real rounded player defensively, offensively, with the ball in deeper areas. It's about us you know, developing him into an all-round player. But the, the bit that he's got is the bit that we cannot give him, which is the real excitement, the real uh, individual moment. Thank you, Nick. Andrew? <coughs> to wrap. Hi. Uh, thank you for taking my question. Um, the team changed a lot over the course of the season. Uh, a lot of players joined in the summer. Do you have any sense? Like, do you feel like the end result of not qualifying for the playoffs would be different if you guys were able to sort of bring in your reinforcements sooner during the year? Um, do you think the team that you finished with, if you had started the season with that team, you guys would be in a different position at the table at the end of the year rather than not playing any more games? Um, listen, uh, my 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 opinion. It only helps me when I'm in the room on my own. You know, it's, uh, my opinion is I like to look at what does what do I see and what does the data, the statistics, the game performances, the numbers tell me. And ultimately, our our our, our form post league cup has been good. I actually think I would like it better. I would like to have beaten Minnesota. I think we should have. We had really big chances in the first half there. We should be one two ahead. Um, you know, we felt the pain today of the last goal we conceded in Miami because we would be in with goal difference, goal differential with that goal. Um, so our form says that we would be higher than we are. I'm really happy with Bert Reeser and Seth Bakker and Julian Fernandez who brought in some real quality. Um, so ultimately, if we play eight games of where we played the last eight, we'll be in a better position. We're going to go right in front here. Hey Nick, uh, obviously not the way we want the season to end. Um, you know, going forward for next season with the group that you have right now, um, how do we look to right the wrongs of the season? Obviously, unfortunately, lowest wins in club history, lowest points per game since 2015. How do we right those wrongs going forward? Listen, we we, we can we can play tennis over the net all all, all all day. You know, we conceded the second lowest amount of goals in the in the conference. We've got the same amount of wins as we did last year when we finished third, and the same amount of wins as we did, uh, same amount of losses, sorry, as we did when we finished third, and the same amount of losses as we did when we finished fourth. So, you know, we can write the narrative of, you know, who's got the worst record and who's got the best. We have to look at our season, we have to reflect on where we get better. We haven't scored enough goals, we've drawn far too many games. So, our defensive side of the game, our ability to not lose games, has been there or thereabouts. I actually would rather not lose some of the games. I don't think we should lose against Philadelphia, but I have my reasons. You know, I don't think we should lose. You know, we, we can, we can, I could talk about this all day because I reflect, my job is as head coach is to reflect on how we make sure we become the team that we have the potential to become. Um, we haven't scored enough goals. We have to be better. I th I've said before in press conferences, I think we've missed chances. And those chances will improve our results. But I think where we need to improve is in the area of how we create goal, better goal chances. You see tonight, there were a lot of moments, Kevin O'Toole, we work the ball really well into a crossing position, nothing comes of it. We get Meacher on the overlap, nothing comes. Those moments, if we can become a stronger team at creating big goal chances, ultimately we'll score more goals. We'll become a better team because we'll win. But, uh, our lead position is really painful for me, me because I've been here for four years and it's the most successful period of the football club um, as assistant coach and as head coach. Our job now is to reflect, look at it and make sure that we improve the team 
so that we can play a season like we played the last eight games. Rich? Yeah. Coach, uh, how much uh, do you see of this team returning next season that currently is here? I think what you've got to look at is there's a lot of real high potential individuals. If you look at the young talent that we have, um, it's only going to benefit us to continue to develop these players and to continue to work with them and continue to grow them, which is ultimately where we were in 2016, 2017, when we worked with real high potential individuals and you know we saw the fruits of this. Our league is structured to make sure that you, you, in the end you, you, they get taken away. Um, for us now is a period where we've got to reflect, we've got to look at it, we've got to make sure that we we, we retain the players that we feel will move us forward. Naturally, in a season, when you end the season every year, there is going to be you know, retention, recruitment, all of those things, they're natural, it's going to happen. But uh, as a number, I can't tell you because we don't have that meeting yet. Final question, we're going on to the Zoom. Scott Cherson. Hey, Coach, thanks for talking. Can you guys hear me all right? Yes, we can hear you, Scott. Okay, cool. Sorry, it's been a weird spot. Um, Coach, obviously, this isn't how we wanted the season to end. You did get 15 points, like you mentioned, the last eight games. Talk a little bit about how the offseason could further maybe gel this squad going 2024. Thanks. Yeah, I think ultimately we're going to continue to train because we believe that this is real crucial time. This is a crucial time for us. You know, the likes of Munset, Burr, Julian have not been in so long. So that when I'm saying we have to develop the likes of Julian Fernandez, the next three weeks are crucial to that because it adds three weeks onto our pre-season for 2024, which it is really important because, you know, there are elements of our game that these guys have to learn. It's really difficult to do that within a season when they're in their off-season. They've come in and they're trying to build the physical side of the game whilst learn that defensive side of the game and our offensive more time will of course improve those guys because I've said before they're real high potential individuals. Great, thank you everyone.